Alrighty, yes sir, let's freaking get it. I've been waiting all day for this Acheron trailer, your color, oh! <laughs> really quickly though, before we get into it, let me just go ahead and give a shout out to my channel members, Justice Sai, Louis T, Jake's the best ever, Rune, Joe Furry, Onslaught X, Snowball, Christian Oineza, Ruyi Moonlight, and Nico, thank you all so, so much for going above and beyond to support the channel, and oh baby, let's freaking get into it. I am so ready. Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, Pentacle. The Charmony Festival is here, mm -hmm. and yes, from all walks of life have arrived. Four updates, right after the- Oh my god, look at the aspect ratio. <gasps> Apply. You Your know it's gonna be artistic. You know it's gonna be good when they got that aspect ratio. Also, did I just see, like, a sparkle fish? <gasps> oh! Oh! <laughs> Sparkle's here, too! <laughs> Blade? Reality. Care to guess. Is that Sparkle Blade? Dusk Swing. Oh. oh my god, this music. And the umbrella. What did you say? He's like, oh my god, god, god. Do your worst. Let's go! Oh my god, I'm so Oh my god, you don't know how happy this makes me. This is sick, dude. Of oblivion, I guide the wandering souls. Bro, check out this animation. Oh my god. Oh my god. The gleam of all The swords! Has returned to nihility. Ooh. Just like tears. Eventually disappear in the rain. Oh my god! Don't look back. There is nowhere to go but forward. Oh, this is so cool! Oh god! Screaming quietly because I don't want to wake up the whole neighborhood! <laughs> Oh my god, let's go! <laughs> oh, I love the tone of this too. Like this ending part, so cool. Feels a little bit somber. Your color. Oh, so cool! Me. Oh my god, okay. Okay, hold on. I'm not missing anything, am I? It's, okay, yeah, no, we're at the end. Okay, as always, we are gonna rewatch it. This is really interesting. I already like the theme of this, like your color, and then at the end it says apply your color. And the thing with Acheron is I think in a lot of ways she doesn't really have a color, you know? Like, we see so much, um, a lot of times we see her in sort of like a monochromatic scheme, you know? It's, it's almost like her color has been washed out, so it's really interesting that we have this theme of, like, apply your color. Let's rewatch it and pay more attention to the dialogue. Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. Peniconians. And we're walking, again, we have the monochromatic scheme going on right here. Festival is here and when does it turn to color? We've got like a broadcast. Okay, so it's right here is when it turns to color. We have a red sort of like moon shape in the background. She's got her umbrella. Apply. Got a figure. Your Apply your color. Okay. And then it goes to sort of like this monochromatic scheme again. Just the color in the eye. Oh, and then... Sp <gasps> I am so hype about the fact that Kafka, Blade, and, and, and Silverwolf are all here too. That's so freaking cool. And then we have, is this an illusion? I feel like she probably does have some trouble uh, distinguishing like reality from illusion from dream as well, <laughs> probably. Illusion reality. Care to guess? And that's okay, so that's Sparkle. That's Sparkle Blade, it sounds like. Either way, Dusk Swing. Two shall fall. Two shall 
fall. Oh my god, dude. And what a what a cool visual right here with like part of her hair kind of turning white and then we have the purple. Oh, that is so cool. That is so cool. I love the lighting too. What did you say? So they're all sparkle. Damn it. Okay, when I first watched it, I, I didn't I didn't I was too hype. I didn't realize that it was all sparkle. But okay, I, I wanted the real deals to be here, but I'll take Sparkle Blade Kafka and Silver Wolf as well. Do your worst. Oh. Our existence is fleeting as dawn's do. As dawn's do, destined for oblivion. And then we have this person, like, and it's interesting too because um, the one color that we do kind of see in Acheron's like monochromatic world is red, and that's like a very heavily emphasized color throughout this trailer. I mean, she's putting on, she's got the red nail polish. There's a red background. She's putting on this sort of like red eyeliner. Do destined for oblivion. Yeah, she sounds, yeah, pretty nihilistic. <laughs> On the still waters of oblivion. On the still waters of oblivion, I guide the wandering souls. How interesting. Oblivion, I guide the wandering souls. And this is so fascinating that we have these flashes of, of, of this. Hold on, let me go back a little bit. What a cool shot. Wow. Crap. I weep for the departed. Hmm, I weep for the departed. Okay. Spring forth. Oh. Dream of old blade. Oh. Restore this lost memory. That's really cool. And then we have apply your color in the background. And again, it's almost like she doesn't know what her color is. That's really fascinating. And it's, it's also interesting how we go from like, you know, we're in the middle of this fight with Sparkle and then all of a sudden it's like she blinks in and we're somewhere else. We're somewhere else. I wonder if this is what her memory feels like a lot of the times. Like it's spotty, you know, she's right in the middle of something and then it's like something else is happening. I'm going to go through this really quickly frame by frame just so we can see all of the details. Restore this lost memory. That looked like an eyeball there. Okay, yep. Eyeball. Then we have, yep, we have like monochromatic Acheron with just the sort of like red tones. Restore this lost memory. That's really interesting. And then we have uh, some kind of abstract shapes. So we have Acheron's back. It's a very nice back. What else do we have here? We've got some more interesting shapes. These almost kind of look like bones. I wonder if this is supposed to be like some sort of uh, skeletal, like abstract skeletal structure. This looks like a pelvic bone, actually, a little bit. This looks like a spine right here. These kind of look like spines, low key. These kind of look like ribs, and these almost look like hip joints, like pelvic bones. Interesting. And then, boom, we have her face. Okay. Ooh, I didn't notice this. See, this is this is why we go through it frame by frame hands coming up behind her and then covering her eyes Ooh! i just thought i just thought she was covering her own face and she very well might be but it kind of it's kind of interesting like they, they come up behind her almost like they're someone else's hands and that's really fascinating and then we have this repeated line apply your color as this sort of like uh psychedelic flame is uh burning in front of us and then it goes to her okay that's a that's a cool uh, effect that they had there too, sort of like the white outlines. I've seen her before. Find me. So is this like alternate dimension Acheron? Like, is 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 this is this a Honkai Impact third reference? By the way, out of curiosity, because this is really interesting. Find me. Find me. Your end. My Your origin. end. My origin, and that's really interesting because um, in the in the other the Myriad Celestia thing. Uh, I'm pretty sure it wasn't it wasn't it like origin and end or something like that like wasn't wasn't Acheron origin and then there was like another there was another like sword or like structure that was representative of end and then didn't they like come together to form like the sword knot or something like that your end my origin and that's especially interesting too because it's reversed here because wasn't Acheron origin and then the other entity was end, but in this one, she's saying, she's saying Acheron, your end, my origin, for like the person in the screen. It's reversed. All that is past has returned to nihility. 
And what is going- like, why is her, her gloves turning red? All that is past has returned to nihility. Ooh! Oh man, just like tears eventually disappear in the rain. Holy lord, that is so sick though. What a great, what a great visual. Damn. Wait, yo, hold on. I missed. There was, there was like, there was. What's going on here? Let's uh, let's let's parse through this frame by frame as well because there's a couple of interesting little visuals that happen throughout here. So we've got the reds, whites, and blacks. Again, sort of the monochromatic colors with just that red. We've seen this before. We've seen this image of her before. Yep, okay. So they're, so they're referencing what happened with, uh, with like the swords. She's falling. And then, yep, this is when she became a bearer, right? This is when she became a bearer. We saw this in Myriad Celestia. Okay, got it. And then we have the Nihility. Oh, so freaking cool. Oh my god, that's crazy, dude. Holy. Wow. Oh, that is so, the shots are so sick, too. The shots in this are really, really cool. And then that's so interesting. Colors, and it's just like red, basically. Reds, reds, and I guess this is kind of like a pink. Apply your color. Huh. How fascinating. And we also have a Robin poster in the background. Also, I just want to go back a tiny bit. Was the clock moving here? Okay, interestingly, it seems like the clock is stuck. Low key. I know it doesn't show it very long, but it, it looks like the clock is stuck here, which is interesting. Like, see how it's just kind of going tick tick. Like, it's not moving in one direction or the other. I think that's actually an interesting little detail. So the clock seems to be stuck. It's almost like she's frozen in time. Here, you can see the clock doing this, like, the 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 the. Or maybe it is moving. It's kind of hard to tell. It looks like it's moving a little. Okay, so maybe not. Maybe not. It's just moving slow. <laughs> Apply your color. I was gonna say, that would be really interesting if the clock was like, if like time was standing still right now. That'd be kind of fascinating. Apply your color. Find me. Find me. Ooh. Ooh, dang, dude. Oh my god. Chills, bro. Chills. That's so freaking cool. So cool. I love that. I love that, like... Not only was it really cool visually, like they did a lot of really cool things visually, but I also liked it conceptually because again, it seems like Acheron uh, doesn't really have a color. It seems like she's not really sure exactly what her color is, you know? It's like, how can you apply a color when, you, uh, when you're, you know, you're like basically devoid of color? Her only color really is red. And that's interesting because we also have the red sort of uh, like as, as a theme throughout, as a theme throughout this trailer. Dang. Oh my god, so cool, dude! Oh! I am so excited for her. I cannot wait to learn more about her. I'm so freaking excited to play through more of the story. Like, oh my god, I just, oh, it's gonna be, oh, it's gonna be so good. It's gonna be so good. I feel like when we, like, learn more about her, there's gonna be a moment where we're all just like, oh my god, and everything just clicks, and I'm, like, so excited for that moment. Anyways, I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you are pulling for Acheron, I hope that you get her. Hope that you get many copies of her and her light cone times five. Anyways, if you like the video, don't forget to like the video. Subscribe to the channel for more of this type of content, and comment down below with any thoughts that you would like to share, and I will see you guys in the next one. Suki, signing off. Bye.